Hey, hey, Diane Sykes here, and I just felt so called to go live and uh, share a just something I've been processing lately and, and a big revelation that I know I'm, I'm holding space for probably so many other women out there who have reached this point and maybe you're out there and maybe you're in pain right now and maybe you're just dealing with this this idea that you're holding on to something, right? You're holding on to um, something that doesn't feel good because you are taking a paycheck for it or you know you kind of you believe in the vision of something or you uh, believe in the love of something right maybe it's a job maybe it's your marriage maybe it's uh, just a friendship um, maybe it's a house something that you're just holding on to because you think you should because you believe in a vision for it you believe in being loyal you believe in all of these things in your head right and your head is the place where where doubt lives. And your head is the place where you you allow your head to make decisions because you believe that your head will help alleviate the stress that you feel. And the thing is it's insidious because the head is actually what's creating the stress in the first place. And my point is when your soul knows it's time for a change, and you feel those icky feelings that take hold of your physiology. When you start to feel stressed and hey Sarah, and you feel sluggish and you feel depressed or you feel anxious to the point where your stomach is in knots and you haven't eaten or you feel your eyeballs go sunk into your head and your head is pounding and your shoulders are tense and all of these things are here and you let that go chronic and you let that erode your cells and literally disrupt the integrity of your DNA. Is it worth it? Is the cost of holding on to something for your perceived loyalty worth it? Let me tell you a quick story. In 2012, I owned a brick and mortar, beautiful, beautiful gym that was very successful and Storm Sandy here in New York knocked it out. And I've done a lot of work around healing from that. The point I'm making is that many, many years before that, I owned it for nine years, and many years before that, I started wondering if this was in alignment for me. It was my own company. It was my own vision. It was my own dream. It was my own manifestation of everything that I ever could have wanted in life was to open my own gym. And a few years into it, my former husband was acting out. Our marriage was disintegrating. And my then one-year-old daughter, I was putting in a $2,000 a week daycare and I never got to see her. And I was like, this is painful. This doesn't feel good in my soul. But I was loyal to my own vision and my own company. It was my own brick and mortar and it was successful and it was making money. And I was doing well and I kept holding on to that. And I kept letting my health dwindle and I gained a tremendous amount of weight. And I was very, very stressed, very unhappy. And I never got to see my kid and my marriage was failing. So all these other areas of my life were out of alignment and out of integrity. And you know what? I held on. And you know what? I kept holding on. And guess what? Storm Sandy came and destroyed my gym. And you know what else? My coach at the time said, you know what, Diane? The storm is your fault. You called it in. Because here I was wishing for an alternative, wishing for a way that I could not be in this brick and mortar anymore and live some freer life. And I was too afraid to take action. And I kept holding on and I kept letting my head do, do the ruling and not listen to my soul. And I suppressed my soul. And so the universe had to show up and slap me in my face. And um, I didn't need to hold on that long. I could have walked on my own terms. And the beauty of this is in the in this in the revelation, in the awakening to see that that if I just step in and trust myself when my intuition calls and my soul is in the knowing to act from there. Even when the head is trying to talk you out of it in every way, if your body is like Arr! something to lean into and something to honor because when you stand in your truth and you show up and implicitly trust yourself 
I promise you, and I'm saying this as my own validation, that the universe is there to do nothing but support you, to show up, to provide, and to bless you with what is beyond your wildest dreams at this point because you're blocked by your own head. So if you're stuck and you're in pain and you stand in your truth and, and decide or really choose, you don't decide but choose to act in integrity and follow what your soul knows, it's not just relief, it's turning over an entirely new chapter, entirely new page of a chapter. And I just felt that coming through for me in my own journey, my own experience, and my own revelation, even to today. So even as a coach, you know, I, I'm, I'm human and I get to go through these journeys too and I just wanted to to share that in the hopes that, you know, perhaps it speaks to you and where you're at right now and, and maybe help you kind of navigate through and figure out where you are not listening to your soul. And I hope with, with all my love and light that you do and I will and we do it together and collectively we get to heal humanity, right? Much love. Boom. Comment below if you have any questions or just comment below if you need some support because I will send that energy your way for sure. Peace. Psyched to see what freedom you create. Much love.